Hello Warriors, it's been a long time and as you can see I'm not looking the peakiest. Um, we've been the Rona family, so um, I'm three weeks ill now actually, it's been awful. So why our silly government is saying we don't need to do any restrictions is just ridiculous. Today's the best I've felt in, in probably three weeks actually. So I thought I would do a check in with you. Um, I actually uh, saw, oh what's the presenter, Lisa Snowden's um, post, God that's men menopause brain isn't it, um, online um, talking about how she's really struggling at the moment and she's having rages. And I just feel awful that I haven't checked in with you. But as you can tell, I sound like something that deserves to be on The Simpsons. I think they should just make a character for me just for this voice. So, um, I speak to you often about my anxiety and how things are and how things how I cope with things and my fear of eating out. So, um, my story now is going to be around that, actually. So, the last time I spoke to you, the following week, it was my daughter's... Um, wedding dress shopping day, so she's getting married on the 30th of July. So um, we went out wedding dress shopping. Um, now in the day, um, it was all a bit unplanned because we went to go somewhere we couldn't go. We ended up just walking into a local um, Spanish small tapas restaurant and we just had some sangria and had lots of bits of tapas. And because I wasn't thinking about it, I ate. And I, I probably ate quite a lot for me at that time of day. So then let's go to the night. So we go wedding dress shopping. I had like such a lovely day. Seeing my daughter in a dress was just beautiful. Um, and then we met the boys in town because they were getting their suits. Um, my husband was herding them like cats. So we met food. Now we went to this small little bar called Tiny Rebel. Because um, my son-in-law is not a social butterfly, he doesn't like being out in big groups. So we went to a bar and it was quiet and we all ordered some food there. Now this food landed and I can't tell you how big the plate was, I ordered a hot dog. It must have been 15 hot dogs in there, like they must have, felt, they must have went and like harassed the cow because honestly, and because it was so big, the thought of eating it and then the thought of eating it out sent me on a meltdown. So I had my first official anxiety attack in a bar on the day that I went wedding dress shopping for my daughter. So how does that kind of configure in your brain? But something in that terrified me. Luckily, I've spoken to my daughter about it. I felt a bit of an arse because uh, their friends were there, but it is what it is. I had to go outside because I was on a full-on panic attack. I ran out, my husband came down, and I said, please go back in. That makes it worse. Don't let anyone come out. I just need to breathe. So I breathed, I calmed myself down, um, I didn't care actually about anyone around me, which I normally worry about people, but I didn't. I just had to concentrate on myself because I couldn't actually do anything. So um, it was quite scary actually, and it was my worst fear with all of this has been going on with my anxiety and swallowing, it's been my worst fear. So now it's happened in some way, um, I've kind of realised it's not the end of the world. Now, that doesn't stop me wanting to go out for food. Now, if I'm Rona free on Saturday, it's um, a charity ball I can go into with my husband. So that'll be a meal. Um, but I'm not as scared um, because I can just leave. And if I don't want to eat it, I won't eat it. My daughter was really understanding. And if I'm honest, I think it has anxiety because she was paying because we paid for other stuff and whatever, you know, it's a wedding, as you can imagine. She actually paid, so I don't know whether there was something inside. I was thinking, oh my God, she's paying for this, I'm not going to eat it. Anyway, it wasn't cute, and I just thought I would share that with you. Um, the other thing I'm going to say to you is, oh my God, these periods are just relentless. So my, um, I spoke to my gynecologist. Um, and she advised me, instead of taking two of these little bad boys, day, I was taking them wrong. I was taking one a day and I should have been taking two. I'm such a naughty girl. For 12 days. So, these little ray of nuggets. She suggested that I take one a day for 24 days. Instead of taking two a day for 12. Um, now, the theory is you're supposed to sp stop bleeding. So... That quite haven't happened. Now, I think I might have had less migraines, but I really don't know because I've been so ill. I probably slept for 18-hour days for the last 
like two weeks. <laughs> so I got it's not a real comparison. So I can't compare to that for this month. So I'll try and do that next month because I'm hoping I'll feel better. Um, oh, but no, it hasn't worked. These periods are just relentless. My bed is like so five. My poor husband, he's seen things that I wish he would never have had to see in his entire life. Um, but it's hard stripping a king size bed, so I make him do that job. But honestly, so um two weeks ago, um I had the worst period that I've had. It feels like my uterus is coming out. That sounds really dramatic because I'm not a baby and I just get on and work. But I had two hot water bottles down you're trying to work. It was brutal. Um double dip, I couldn't sleep, I was in so much pain, I was double dip, um, and the blood is so different, it starts off like, I'm going to be graphic and gross now, but it's just so you know that you're going through the same thing, it's like a brownie, oh, and it's yuck, it's, it's like a thick discharge and all kind of, honest, there's aliens living inside me, and then it goes from there, and then changes colour, and then goes to red, and then it stops, but it was a week, and I mean, I don't mean a little week, I mean it was a week. I flooded the bed three nights on the bounce. That was with the sanitary product on. It had gone through the sheets, it had gone through the the um, topper, it came come up through the quilt. I woke up in the morning, and I can't even tell you what it was like looking at myself. I just wanted to cry, well, in fact, I, I can't even say I wanted to cry, I did cry and jumped in the shower, and I was like, this is ridiculous. So I had that for a minute, uh, for a whole week. Um, I come off the period last a week ago Sunday, um, and then yesterday, it's back with a vengeance, like just awful. So I'm having more periods than I've ever had in my life. I am gonna stick to the Eutrogestin and see if that works, and continue with that. Um, and I have started. Just up in the dose of my uterus, of my estrogel when I feel a little bit perky because I can feel it in me and I can feel my body is lacking something. So at the moment, whereas I was doing two pumps twice a day, so four pumps, I am doing additional pumps in between if I need it. So I have six pumps if I'm um, particularly feeling um, agitated and weak, and um, which is what happens actually when you you're on your period. Um, so I just thought I would check in with you warriors. Um, the other thing I'm going to say is please wear masks because this coronavirus is awful. Um, I think I had it about two years ago. I didn't test myself properly, but my symptoms were so different. It was a bad stomach and I was vomiting and it was about four or five days and I was done. This had just been brutal. I have slept like I, I've slept 18 plus hour a day. Um, on Sunday, I slept right the way through the night. I got up about seven. I watered the plants. It was so exhausting that I slept for five and a half hours. And then I woke up and had something to eat. We went up to bed, I had a shower, and I slept again right the way through the night. I don't even know where, like, this sleep is coming from. But my body needs it. It's my quietest time of the year. So if I need to sleep, I'm going to sleep. Now, um, outside of that, not a lot of change. My anxiety is the same place it is. I, me and my husband, because we've been on this COVID lock-in, um, and both really poorly, we've been watching box sets, and I watched Your Honour. Not good for somebody who's got bad anxiety. I was on the edge. I didn't even enjoy it. I watched it because my husband wanted to watch it. Never again. Never again. I've just learned that I can't watch certain things when my head's in not a certain place. So that's another thing learned. Um, and apart from that, no changes really. Um, I do look absolutely rough as today. I got pajamas on with a sweater. I haven't had a shower today and I was so rough. So I will do a vlog next week. Um, looking a bit prettier because I'm going to look pretty for the ball on Saturday. So at least I don't look like I live in the woods with these birds. Because that's what's going on here today. Um, I hope you're all keeping well, warriors. Um, as I keep saying to yourselves, please be kind. I learned that with my anxiety going for food. Please be kind to yourself. Put yourself first. That's just first and foremost as we're going through this. Um, and I will keep you updated on this awful, horrid, horrid journey. Um, take care of yourselves. Um, peace out. <laughs>